Hi, Elif. How are you? I'm good, Neil. What about you? I'm good, thanks. Hi, everyone. We're back again. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Let's turn our attention back to the agenda of our YouTube channel, Real Perspective if you like. And let's remind our viewers about the essential. Please watch, like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to constantly press the notification button. Also, don't forget to suggest our channel to your friends. Weren't we supposed to discuss the recent developments about the moon and UFO today? Yes, exactly. Before I came, I researched our previous videos about the moon and aliens on our YouTube channel. I had watched those videos as well. They beautifully explained the virtual significance of the moon in our lives and how the perfect scientific balance between Earth and the moon could only be a masterpiece of creation. The video about the James Webb satellite emphasized how our Earth could be as magnificent as a grain of sand in the vastness of the universe, suggesting that God might have created intelligent beings, aliens, in other parts of the universe. Actually, what we'll be discussing today is somewhat a continuation of the topic covered in those two videos. The latest development about the moon is that India, for the first time in history, managed to achieve a soft landing on the moon's south pole. What do you think, Matt? Hi, dear friends. Again, you pick very good and interesting topic. Elif, uh, I did some research on this. Previously, America and Russia managed to perform soft landings on the side of the moon that always faces Earth. But due to the lack of communication and suitable landing spots on the dark side, landing there has been difficult. Even the south pole of the moon is mostly on the side, which made soft landings challenging, yet yeah, India achieved it. Some people use the term the dark side of the moon, but that's not scientifically accurate. As you know, both Earth and the moon revolve around the sun, so all sides of the moon receive sunlight. The polar regions of both Earth and the moon receive sunlight at wide angles, and certain parts of the poles don't get sunlight for six months. Exactly! Saying the size of the moon that doesn't face Earth is more significantly accurate. Now, let's indulge in some scientific chatter. What's on that side of the moon? Could aliens be monitoring us from there? Joking aside, it's an interesting hypothesis. These UFOs and aliens that sometimes appear and then disappear could be coming to research with us and then sitting there. This is an important topic. We definitely need to discuss the latest developments about UFOs and aliens. But before we delve into that, let's discuss why scientists attach so much importance to the moon's softball. What do you say, Mark? Neil, Prabal Saxena, a planetary scientist from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, was answering that question. He believed that there might be microbial life in the permanently shadowed craters at the moon's salt pile. Some of these craters might contain ice, which suggests the presence of water on the moon, and water might mean life. Correct! I read recently that the south pole of the moon is where NASA aims to land at Artemis 3 asteroids in 2025. India also, with an unnamed mission, achieved this goal in 2023. I took notes on this. India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft successfully landed in the area on August 23, 2023, then released its rover, Pragyan, on the moon's surface. The footage of its first movements was broadcast on August 25. As more footage arrives, we'll find out whether there's water on the moon and if life even microbial exists there. Back to UFOs and aliens. Could they have built secret bases on the side of the moon that doesn't face Earth? Space researchers see this as a weak possibility because even if soft landings hadn't been achieved, satellite images haven't shown such structures. True, but there's a counter-argument. Are some photos being hidden from the public? Can clear image be captured from the areas that remain in the shadow and are inaccessible? All these questions are being researched, not just about the hidden side of the moon, but also regarding the unidentified flying objects and the existence of extraterrestrials. Speaking of which, the UFO sightings have increased recently. There is no shortage of such news. Most recently, on September 23rd, a triangle-shaped object was spotted over Istanbul. It was then lost from sight after a few minutes. Yes, Elif is so interesting, but we need solid evidence. Even though the videos shared by the Pentagon in 2020 showed the reality of this phenomena, the extraterrestrial origin of these objects hasn't been proven yet. 
We'll keep following the developments. The reality behind these mysterious phenomena may be revealed in the near future. This is a topic that won't end today. There is always something new to discuss and learn. As technology advances, so does our ability to explore the mysteries of the universe. Yes, that's enough deep inside and exchange of ideas for today. But we can delve deeper into this topic in our future broadcast. After all, this is a subject we can discuss for hours, even days, and can be constantly updated with new developments. Absolutely. We're all excited to delve into these topics, gather more information and share it with our viewers. And let's not forget, everything is a possibility in science. Perhaps we will find answers to all these questions in the near future. Right, keep following us. We'll have more on this topic in our upcoming broadcast. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next episode. Bye. That's not her on us though, is it? It's not. That is on us, dude. Well, if there's a thing, it's rotating.